Should I call you Shelby's dad or just... <laughs> Alright. Shelby's dad is Shelby. Put him in Alan's name. Samaji in the building. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, <laughs> hanging out. So you're a photographer. Um, you actually are the founder mm -hmm. of Mugshot Magazine. How does it feel mm -hmm. to have that title in your name, the founder? Mm -hmm. CEO. Well, well, there's three yeah, of us. Sense. It's like a collective, and I you know that's just what we came up with. <laughs> I fuck with it though. Yeah, right, what yeah. do you think of mugshot? It's like a criminal thing. Because uh, you get a mugshot the, when you I'll get arrested, the, um, you know? I'll be the what was the downtime anyway? Well, it's like you're capturing like something. Show or not. You know what I mean? I feel you, yeah. So now, um, so just let me know when you get down there. To the audience at home that's watching. Yeah, when I'm with you down there. Alright, for sure. This thing having a conversation on his phone. What the fuck is he doing? He's really loving it. Probably talking to his mom or something. No, I'm talking to some pop. What the fuck? Alright, so what's up? <laughs> no, I'm saying like, no, no, no. for the audience watching at home, like, can you explain the um the cover? So this we got much that. Who's that girl in the front? Her name's Sick Brain. My homie took her photo. Wait, wait, this is cool too. It take two. You said no, Sick no, Brain. No, no. What the fuck is no, this? You, you're just gonna look like a jackass <laughs> on camera. He heard my phone ringing. I don't know why. You know. I was just trying to be it. candid and just start no, from there. No, nigga. It's yeah, gonna it get is. used though. It's lit. So, so good. and you said her name is Brain. What? Sick Brain. Sick Brain. Yeah, my homie in LA uh, took these photos of her. Is she a model? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, she knows she's a good. Model. So somebody from your collective reached out to her to do the to do the shoot, and then they submitted it to the magazine. No, well, one of the owners of the mag took a photo of her, like did a okay. whole photo shoot of her. And we decided to use it for the cover. How long have y'all have you, have you had this magazine? Since May. Of this year? Uh -huh. Yeah. And y'all already got the whole issue made. Yeah, this is the second one right here. Nice. Is it published already? Yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Got like 60 of these bitches. Hell yeah. How much do they, um, how much do y'all sell them for? Uh, $15. We did the last one for 20 but... Lower the price. Yeah, I feel you. That's what's up, man. What's the hardest thing about being a photographer in this industry, you think? Shooting the same stuff as other people. Um, not being able to, like, capture things how you see it in your head. Yeah. Do you get, like, stuck-up models and stuff? Like, they can't take direction for nothing? Nah. Everyone I shot with is, like, really cool. Um, I don't really shoot girls right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, just because they're difficult all in general, but... They be trying to act sedity and, like, trying to... No, some girls know what they're doing and know what, how they want their photos to look. Like, there's mm -hmm. plenty of girls in these photos, you know what I'm saying? It, they, it's just how your vibe is with that person is going to determine the lot How it's going to be, yeah, I feel you. What's the longest shoot you've done so far? Um... I did some graffiti shoots, mm -hmm. and those are always until like the morning time. So, like we'll be out midnight all night. Or? No, fuck no. Like five a.m. What? Do you, how many pictures do you take? <laughs> Shit, at least twenty-four. Cause it's one roll of film is twenty-four photos. So Off anywhere from twenty-four to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Seventy-two bunch of shit. So you take twenty-four to roughly seventy-two, or twenty? Yeah, twenty-four to like seventy-two shots, like. Do y'all take breaks in between? Do you get food or anything? Uh, it depends what we're shooting. Like, if I'm doing a graffiti artist or if I'm with a rapper, like, mm -hmm. we might go get some food. You know what I mean? They want pictures of their fancy-ass dinner and shit. Like, <laughs> Are you serious? Hell yeah. I make them niggas buy me a plate. Like, I be Man. trying to live just like how they live. I feel like, you. However I'm shooting. If I'm shooting someone that's like... You know what I mean? Like, yeah, homeless nigga or something, I'm gonna be humble. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say too much, but if I'm with someone. You shoot homeless people? Is that what you said? Yeah, definitely. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, Why? a lot of photos of homeless people on my feed. You got a good heart. Why did, well, but, um, just not kind of why, but yeah. I see that, like, that, that struggle. I feel Which, you. I, I feel like too many homeless people be asking, like, I don't mind if I have money, you know, I give them money, but no, like... I'm not giving them money. <laughs> unless it's like someone, like, unless we doing like some, like, I don't know, like, if unless I'm taking a picture of them doing some drugs or something like that, I'll give them like five dollars. <laughs> you said doing drugs? Yeah. 
I'd be like, hey, bro, you, I'd be like, hey, you doing Total something? Total enabler. Oh, bro, it's, I need to get the pics. <laughs> That's why they always in the first place because yeah, of drugs. Yeah, Five dollars is worth they they yeah, they gonna do it anyway. They gonna do crazy. it anyways. You damn right. I'd at least bless them for another hit so they can get some. Man, <laughs> I would make them do push ups rather than <laughs> take a picture while they do with drugs, but everybody's different though. Mm -hmm. What do you wanna get out of this photography career? Like what's mm -hmm. the ultimate goal for you? I don't wanna work for nobody. Like I just wanna oh, run my mag and you know what I mean? Yeah, just do more art shows. Maybe, yeah. maybe put some pieces up out here. That's what's up. And then you can make Mugshot Magazine uh, like a whole worldwide brand. If it's not already, you feel me? Put it like on a building. Mugshot Magazine hell Corporation yeah. or Empire. On billboard. Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah, that would be like dope. That. Are you going to still with your, are you going to still be with the group? While you, uh, while you get big? Yeah, I mean, it's... There's three owners, so I mean, we we keeping shit like going so far, but we plan on making shit bigger. Like, I'm gonna go to the East Coast for a little bit right now, um, like Monday. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to you know, see meet you, people out there and like, you know, get my mag out there. I'm gonna bring fucking twenty copies. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just to be some network, yeah, companies some, out there. Yeah, do some networking and shit. You got companies in particular, like specific mm -hmm. companies? I don't want to name them on camera, but there's, oh. uh, I've already, like, kind of already been hinting around to people out there that I'm coming. We're going to fucking talk and do some meeting and shit. Mm -hmm. What's your, what would be your, like, your big dream as a photographer running the magazine? Shit, I really want to do some, like, big name brand photo shoots or, like, you know, like when you go in the mall and you see, like, the people on the walls. Mm -hmm some photos like that and then they can like appreciate something that you did and it's like you walk in the mall it's like damn i did that years ago hell yeah and you got kids looking up to you and stuff yeah that's what's up hell yeah i'm about to be at an art show on saturday valley visuals come on through oh yeah i'm with it yeah there's, you gotta there's say like no gonna more. be mad artists on there there's it's, when is it sir it's on saturday saturday okay i got you this saturday coming up uh -huh. okay because this is it's today too or Tuesday, I got you. Yeah, man, that's definitely a possibility. Do you feel like you can um, do like be on TV with it eventually, or like radio? TV? Yeah, like you know, like just red carpet events, like big events. You know, taking pictures. Oh hell yeah! I thought you meant like me. I'm like nah. <laughs> you feel like you compete with paparazzi, or you just Dude. is that different? Um hell yeah, we bro. Photography is just as competitive as. Baseball, basketball, like, all this shit is competitive. Mm -hmm. Anything you're trying to do, there's people watching, you know what I'm saying, like... Even me just, as a blogger in general. Yeah, so. like, <laughs> there's, a, there's always competition in everything you do, so... Who do you think is your biggest competition right now? If you know anybody or any, like, particular company or group or whatever? Myself. Like, okay. Um, That's what's up. competition. Do you have... People um, offer you, I guess, certain amounts of money to, to get on your magazine? Not in my mag. Not yet. But I want to do ads, so that's going to be something happening. But I do get, you know I mean, money for photo shoots, for sure. Hell yeah. Some that's what's up. people, I bless them. If I really, really fuck with them, we do a low price or no price. But the niggas that really want to fuck with me and are mm -hmm. offer, Like, somebody gave me money for a photo shoot, and they gave me $100. And we were supposed to do something, and he never even showed up. And he's like, oh, bro, just keep that money. He gave you $100 and never showed up? Nope. Okay. Shit, fuck it. You know, like... That's crazy. That shit wild. <laughs> Have you ever, um, like, um, did a photo shoot with somebody personal that you know, close friends, family? Mm-hmm. Is that all the time or yeah. every now and then? Uh, all the time. I'm trying to do more. Like, I would love to do everything for my family's photos and shit. Takes pictures of me all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, you, Samaja, you being a... We talked about this off camera. You said that you were a business... Um, yeah. Concerts, hosting events, a little bit of modeling. How'd you get all that um, tied up together? Uh, one what was day, the first? Yeah. One day, I'll tell you like this. One day, I realized I looked really good on the other side of the camera. Okay, that's what's up. So then you ended up starting modeling like part time. 
or like every now and then? Uh, I guess it's more of a hobby, more of something just like I like to do, but I think one day it could really take off. Yeah, you can make a living out of it. Hell yeah, I love fucking like fashion and all that cool shit. Yeah, like I think I mentioned when I have first saw you in high school, you was like kind of <laughs> on the other side. I was of the like fences. one of the first kids. I was man, I was one of the first kids to do a lot of shit when it comes to like clothing and shit like that. Yeah, you was. I wasn't scared to like test my boundaries and shit. I think I was one of the first kids with ripped jeans, cut off jeans, fucking wearing like skate shoes and shit like that. That's your um, like as like you know. And you got dreads too. And you got oh yeah, I've been growing my hair out for the past two years. I thought that would be pretty tight. Oh, Hell shit. yeah, What's I've got the... hella good feedback. I was I gonna ask you that. I get compliments like, at least every day. Yeah, I was gonna ask you like, um, what's the fee- like the the um comp- like the feedback that you've been getting or like the biggest misconception? <laughs> Just a lot of girls telling me they like my hair and if they can touch it. That's an easy smash right there <laughs> on site, bro. Like, do you feel like as a photographer? Is it hard to mix business with pleasure when you get a baddie like that you um, take a picture of? Because I've seen it in your magazine right now, like, but not right now without camera. Like, you know, I see some titties and some coochie. So I'm like, how do you not mix the business with pleasure and just keep it professional? You mix business with pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Off top, okay. Hey. I feel you. Nah, I feel you. Cause it happens. I don't want to put my. Some phone. of that should be staged, but some of that should be real. That's all I'm gonna say. You never know. You know. Like that's the art of it. Like making it look as real as possible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't want to put myself on blast, but all right. So I interviewed this girl, but we had we was messing around before we did the interview. <laughs> so I kind of. This nigga a troll. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I understand it's hard though, cause like you definitely want to smash like people that you. You may shoot that you might book or that I might nah, interview. I'm definitely so. not smashing anyone. I'm shooting. <laughs> oh, okay, I think that's what I was saying. Like, it's it's hard, huh? Definitely not. I, Cause, bro, I mean, you don't for burn sure, that like, bridge. yeah, that and like, it's just talking about sex is so weird. Cause <laughs> I don't want anyone to take anything to my life. <laughs> for real, for you know, yeah, like, that shit, yeah, that shit like, can go this way or that way. Like, bro, I'm gonna see the titties regardless. Like everything, like. But that shit just gonna happen. There's, there's no intentions like, yeah, I'm about to shoot this bitch and fuck this. Like, you know, there's no, yeah. there's no, never those intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit happens, it happens. <laughs> like, shit be lit. It, like, the more lit, the better. So, mm-hmm. we try to make shit as real as possible. So. Yeah, that's facts. Some of that shit be staged, and girls just are comfortable with their bodies, and the photographer is comfortable with seeing the other sex. So, it makes good photos. And then sometimes it's just real. Like, I like you. <laughs> I like you catch too. a vibe, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Com- being comfortable with your sexuality and shit. Like I don't that. know, like catching that vibe, and sometimes shit just. Because I used to like watch porn and shit, and I always wonder how them camera people never get horny. I'm like, yeah. y'all niggas is like, I would be. If you're the cameraman do doing the work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We ain't talking about like fucking early seventies, eighties, you know. We talking about the new age. Talking about the new age. The nigga with the (laughs) fucking camera. He's got that. You got the head strap and shit. There we go. Or the yeah, the little GoPro thing going. Oh my god, bro. Now I feel you though. Do you feel like um, the industry is saturated right now, or is there always industry? You said what? Oh, the photography industry. Uh, Or is there always room for people to to jump in? Bro, I mean. Bro, there's always new new people and everything. There's always going to be the niggas that's doing it residually. Like, you just get in where you fit in. And then I feel like if you think it's something is oversaturated, it's because you're trash. <laughs> and I'm just, niggas hate when I tell the truth. I mean, I see like, people bro, every man. day start talking about, oh, I'm going to start doing photography. Oh, I'm going to start doing photography. You know, oh, who wants to shoot? Who wants to do this? And I feel like they just start, like, you know, trying to reiterate a lot of things that other people have been doing, and in that in that sense, I think it's getting a little saturated because it's like mm-hmm. you know, like you're a little late for one thing, for two, like you know, you're trying to you know copy somebody's style, copy someone's quality, but it turns out just to be trash. So mm-hmm. you know, why even bother? Hey, look at that sign right there. It says no food, no beverages allowed. I need to see that. Yeah. <laughs> you know how we rocking. Yeah. Big bevs. Yeah, I got big my tra- food. Got my trash. Yeah, we trash don't follow bag. no mm-hmm. rules. We pirates. Do y'all feel like y'all two together since y'all been, you know, pretty much day one homies? Do y'all feel like y'all would come together at some point and make your own, like, y'all own project together? I mean, we've had, we've, we've, we've done a bunch of things together. Yeah. 
Like, I, I mean, shoot him all the time. Like, he shoots me all the time. We've done, the like, magazine. A, we do a couple events together. Um, we've been, been, okay. we uh, <laughs> we've been, we've done, like, a Project <laughs> X-Rager, man. We had, like, people jumping off the roof and shit, like, 500 people Ooh, on a day. she want me back. <laughs> you said 500 people? Yeah. <laughs> What's it going like? Who's working on it? Hello. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Yeah, it was a rager, man. We had we had people like on the on the roof and shit, uh -huh. and then uh, you know the homie busted a bottle of henny on some dude's head, and that's what ended the party. Damn. Well, yeah, yeah we do, we do work together though for sure, and I mean, I, like like any homies, like yeah, yeah we going to New York together. I'll be there too. Yeah, he's going days after. too. I need yeah, to go to New York one day. But I'm excited because I'm, I'm about to, you know, catch a lot of fashion vibes out there, bro. Dude, oh, it's going to be big, yeah. cozy coat. You're going to see rats in Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, the rats in New York are so fucking big, bro. It makes no sense. Nigga, they're big as fuck. Like, nigga, I seen a rat and I froze up. I've never done that before. Like, what? <laughs> what happened? My stomach is hurting. Man, I was like, yo, is that a rat? Or a midget? <laughs> <laughs> this is big. 